Hey guys, Jim Nix with Nomadic Pursuits, and I've got another video for you. Today I'm going to talk about fireworks, and it's going to be a little different than normal because this is a single exposure. I'm still using Aurora HDR, which is the best program on the market for any kind of photo editing. I don't care if it's HDR or single exposure, iPhone, whatever it is, I don't care. It's fabulous. I love it. I think that's kind of obvious from all the other videos I've done. Uh, but I want to take you through this photo. It's that time of year, at least here in the U.S., where we're celebrating Independence Day. I guess that's the original Brexit, as uh, people are saying online. Anyway, uh, this is a shot I took a number of years ago. I'll take you through it. And it's a really quick edit, actually. It's, uh, it's not complicated, and that's the beauty of Aurora. You can do multiple layers and all kinds of sort of super crazy technical stuff. Or you can just go straight up hit a few edits and be done, and that's what we're gonna do. So this is a, uh, what is it, about a 10 second exposure, I believe. You can see up here, it was shot at F9. I recommend a couple of tips, actually. Um, I, I usually recommend around F8, F9, something like that, depending on how dark it is and, and how long you think the uh, exposure needs to be. Uh, shoot in manual mode, and I, I highly recommend getting somewhere really early if you're gonna be shooting fireworks. Uh, only because they get crowded, right? And everybody wants the best spot. And the last thing is, if at all possible, try to get to uh, a high spot so you can look down on the fireworks, which is what I did here. This was shot in Austin a few years ago. So let me take you through what I'm going to do. Uh, this is the base image with no adjustments. I'm just going to start with the basic preset, which is called Balanced and Realistic from the Realistic HDR category. And already you can see it looks way better. Let me show you. There's the before, there's the after. Now there's a number of things that I need to fix here, and it, uh, excuse me, if you look at the, the photo, uh, it's still a little too dark. Let me show you the original again. It was really dark, so even though it was about a 10 second exposure, it was still pretty dark, and I want to lighten that up quite a bit, and I also want to bring the colors. I want to do a little bit of color shifting and that sort of thing. So uh, the preset I added did bring up a little bit of the brightness and the colors. Uh, we're going to change a few more things. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here and get my... Uh, one of my favorite things, which is color toning, also known as split toning. You've probably seen me uh, talk about that in other videos. I'm going to use this second preset, uh, which is this one here. You can see it, it's adjusted the tint and saturation levels of both the highlights and the, uh, and the shadows separately. So I've done that, and now I'm going to go over here to the color menu. And I might bump up the saturation and the vibrance a little bit. And the temperature, I'm going to change a little bit as well. I'm going to make it a little bit cooler, but I'm going to bring the tint up a little bit, probably to about 11 or 12. It gives a little bit more of that purple glow to the photo, which I like. And uh, the next thing is denoise. This was shot several years ago, and it was a much lesser camera than I have now. So I'm going to zoom in. Let me show you the noise here, especially with that preset. You can see the noise right in here. Let me show you the before. Right when it's dark, you don't notice it as much, but since I brightened the image considerably, you start to see a lot of noise here. And the camera that I shot this with uh, is it's an old Nikon, right? This was uh, probably six years ago. And so, uh, frankly, the sensor is not nearly as good as today's cameras. But it's still a cool image that I like, and uh, I want to fix that, right? And that's the beauty of Aurora. You have denoise right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slide the... Uh, slider over a little bit and maybe get a little smooth as well. And if you notice, I'm doing everything on the same layer. Uh, and that's because I don't feel the need at this moment to make any uh, major adjustments to the uh, to the photo on multiple layers. You can see what the uh, denoise did. Let me show you the before. I don't know if you can tell. It, there's quite a, a few streaks, kind of vertical streaks. And you can see some noise up in here as well. Let me turn that adjustment back on. And there you go. Um, I think it's a lot cleaner looking. I like that. It also cleans up the look of the smoke. And that's one thing about fireworks shows and shooting them is I recommend you shoot a whole lot, especially early in the show, because later in the show there's going to be so much smoke like this that it could end up covering up a whole lot of what you would like to be a clear image. And so shoot early and often is what I recommend. Uh, the other thing I want to do is, is fix the bottom lighting. It's still way too dark on the bottom, so I'm going to bring that up considerably something like that, and that makes a huge difference in the photo. I'm also gonna change the blend a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten that up, and then I'm gonna shift it downward a little bit. So I think, it's, uh, I think it's something about like that. I think it was a little too high before. Back up here, uh, there's too much of this area in the center that's lit, and, and while the light from the, uh, 
the fireworks will drop light down below. It doesn't. Uh, I don't think it would make that much of a uh, impact in the uh, in that portion of the atmosphere. So, oops, not the blend. Um, the shift I want to drop lower, and so there we go. We've got quite a bit of that. I'm going to bump up this a little bit more, brighten that a little bit more. I think that's looking better already. And then I think one other thing I might do is go into the color filter. And I might take the saturation of the blue down just a little bit and maybe bring up the reds and yellows. Let me bring those up a little bit, see if we get a little bit more color pop there. And I think I'll adjust this. Uh, instead of going so blue, I might try, and I'm on the fly here, people, so I'm kind of, yeah, I kind of like that a little bit better. I think that gives it a little bit nicer glow. Let me show you the image before and after. So it made quite a bit of difference in the photo. And I actually think I would take this saturation level up. And of course, what I'm doing also is throwing off the ground. So easy way to fix that is to add a new layer, call that ground, and you can just go to the color menu, drop the saturation on this layer, and maybe drop the vibrance. And then I'll just go paint it into the ground only, right? So let me get me a brush real quick that'll work for that. And I'm just gonna go paint this in just to the ground. I don't want an unnatural level of saturation there. I think that might make it a little bit more natural. Maybe take out some of the heavy glow of those lights and those there. So uh, there, there's the ground beforehand and there's the ground after. So I still like the, uh, the look of this. I'm gonna go back to that original layer and I'm gonna look at these colors one more time. I think I might actually go a little bit warmer and a little bit more on the tint. That's a little overdone on the pink but a little bit warmer, a little bit more saturation. So there we go, I think, uh, let me turn this back on to take that saturation out of the ground. And there we go, let me show you one more time. There's the original photo, and there's a couple of minutes work in Aurora. I was able to bring up the the light levels significantly in the, uh, in the ground, kind of in the base, while I brought up the colors in the rest of the image, decreased the noise, and generally created a much more sort of inviting atmosphere. One more time, there's the original. And there's the final. If you also notice, uh, you can probably see it without zooming in, all the stars are visible in the sky. Let me show you the before. You can't really see them, but you know, at F9, a 10 second exposure into a, a pretty dark sky, you're gonna pick up some stars. And so when I brightened up the image, you can see I brought up stars all through here, and there's some over here as well. And of course, that's the moon. And uh, there you go. So one more time, there's the original, and there's the, uh, there's the after. That's a, uh, excuse me, just a quick edit and a lot of fun in Aurora. It's super fun and it's a great time of year to experiment with fireworks photos because hopefully you've gone out and captured some this weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Have, have a great night.